In keeping with the unintentional trend of just uploading videos that are inconsistent with each other, uh, hi there guys, MasterCav here. And if you've read the title, or you've searched up either how to farm rusted keys, or how to get this one infamous trophy in my opinion, which took me a lot longer than it should have to figure out how to fix Andy's machine, then you're in luck. This video will teach you both. I will cut down things, just so you don't have to watch me fight, and, you know, all the the boring stuff. I'll just cut it down so you don't have to, you know, listen or watch to it. So, you can fix Andy's time machine and farm rusted keys idly. Now, I'm not going to say that this is the fastest key farm ever, However, if you have nothing to do and you want to watch YouTube videos or something, sort of like right now as you're watching a YouTube video, you can idly farm about two to three keys every ten minutes without even trying anything. All you got to do is just sit AFK, then come back, sit AFK, come back, etc. And you also farm, uh, you know, crystal fragments. As you see here, I was doing it a little bit. I got three rusted keys and uh, six crystal fragments off of like 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. I wasn't really putting a time on it. So if you're wondering how to get this so you can get your free attribute point, which by the way, I have right here, but I'm not spending it yet till uh, the video is over, then let me show you how to do all this, okay? So first things first, you want to go to that dungeon. Which will be about... Uh, why am I so blind to it? No, it's not the Looty Clock Tower. I'm so blind. There it is. Lootable Time Hall. So, we're going to go into this dungeon. Now, you enter alone. And now, you could technically do this in a party. But it's not going to work as well as if you just do it alone. So, if you get to level 50 and you got gear from, like, Black and Ob 2 or just any of the dungeons that are quote-unquote hard in the normal category... This should be easy for you to do. I mean, to be honest, I'm a thief. Alright, so if a thief can do this, basically any class can do this. Because thieves are the squishiest thing in this entire game. And if anyone says otherwise, they are wrong. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go into the dungeon. And you're going to have this cutscene play out. This is probably the most annoying bit of this dungeon. Because it, it acts as if you've never done this before, ever. Anyways, as we're just mindlessly not going to watch that, here are the tab settings for my chat in case you want to easily track how, you know, how well you're doing in idling this. So first things first, you want to kill everything. It's simple, right? I like to just drive around in this thing, triggering every door, because every time you trigger a door, it spawns the enemies, unless it already triggers to an area that already has it, like right there. And you want to just get around as much as possible and trigger every door so you can kill them all quicker. Because every enemy knows where you are once you've triggered them. So once you've got all these bad boys coming in, simply attract their attention. It is a little bit of a cluster, so... Uh, yeah. There we go. Basically all of them are dead. It's showtime. Okay, they both will die. Just showing the important bits, because who wants to watch a video of me fighting or anything? So after you've killed all the enemies, Simply hack each terminal. Hmm. It makes a cube. Just notice that. And by the way, the idle, uh, in terms of how to farm idle, idly, the rest of keys will be near the end of the video. Because technically it has to be. I mean, it doesn't super have to be, but it's best if I put them both together in this fashion and 
how to get Andy in the time machine because the reason why you want to get this trophy, by the way, is it gives you it gives you one attribute point from the first one, which is pretty useful. Attribute points are always nice. And then if you want to get the final one, it's complex, which complex sounds like a cool title. I may go after that if I'm bored. So this is how you get to Andy. Because I know many people are probably going to be going through this machine like five times trying to figure out where Andy is. All you need to do is first go to the past. And then make sure you go to past Henesis. If you try any of the other ones, it's going to say no. If you try past Two. Kerning, past, pa like, uh, past Alania, those two will just say no. I can't fully remember if, uh, Parion does anything. And there's Andy. Ah, oh, fellow traveler. I felt, uh, my time... It, it, that goes so fast, you can't even read that. Maple Story, you need to make cutscenes a little bit, you know. A little bit slower, because they're skippable. Like, if you could skip, skip them, you don't need to make them so fast. Anyway, it's just, uh... Find all four of the pieces. I guess I'll just cut forward as to when I find them. <clears throat> and you should probably also kill all the enemies to make your life easier. There's one. <clears throat> There's the black box. Booster. Okay. Here's the power core. For the last one, which is the stabilizer. Okay, there are only four pieces you need to get into the ship. And to put them into the ship, all you gotta do is just go around it, pushing your interaction button. we go the time machine is fixed and just putting one of those pieces in should give you the attribute point if you recall the beginning I had four and now I should have eight on the trophy yep there's eight so putting in any of the pieces just count towards this so only putting in one piece should be enough so you could technically do this with a group by just forcing it to be in the past and Henesis before anyone pushes the buttons. And all you gotta do is grab one of the pieces and you'll be set for the attribute point. But if you wanna get the complex title, I suggest doing this solo. So that you only have to do this a minimum of uh, 25 times? Yeah, 25 times. Uh, and you could also progress on this without completing the dungeon. So I could technically leave the dungeon now. But that's not what we're here for. <clears throat> we're not here for just fixing the time machine because some of the people who will probably skip to this very moment in the video would want to know how do I get rusted keys idly and here's how you do it so first trigger the beacon now this can be in any type and like any time Three, period just trigger the one, beacon and go back start. and then it's gonna force you to go to you know the boss Three, it's gonna force you two, to go to the boss area one. <clears throat> and then you'll see the computer, you'll see the ever-memorable blue bastard, and you see these two people and everything, right? So, instead of going into this area, that, that yellow stuff right there, and teleporting to the boss fight, instead, leave the dungeon.
Now this isn't change channel, this isn't exit game, this is leave dungeon. And then, it's going to put you right here. Now usually, people will just go to that portal to the far left and just exit when they click leave dungeon. Don't. Instead, move back into the dungeon. Blah. Into the dungeon. I am twisting on my words. And then you'll notice something interesting. Where there weren't chests, there are chests. Now, in the first time you come through here, maybe you'll see the chests spawn already. But there are, I think, six, seven chests in this area. And I'll just go to the, the spots I know of. So one is in this corner. Hmm. It's not there right now. One's in that corner. One's in this room. One is in this room. Or, I don't think it's in that room. One's in this room. And... There are some on the side rooms. Now, you may think, Master Kev has done something wrong. He's showing me a video where there are no chests. But you see, here's the thing. The chests that spawn in this area spawn off of a timer. I don't know what that time is, and I don't know what the minutes are, the seconds, etc. But what I do know is that the ch these chests come in even when you're not here. So I'm going to sit right here. All right. All right, let me just get off here. I'll refresh this so you have a timer right now. Boom, zero. And I'll try it at random times. Again, I've never recorded the time it takes. But I'm going to try at random times. I'm just going to sit here. Uh, maybe cut the recording so it doesn't eat up, you know, hard drive space. And then I'll come back. Maybe two minutes, three minutes, check on it. And you'll see if I find the chests during that recording. So be right back. Alright, coming in five minutes. Let's check it out. Hey. Okay, so, yeah, five minutes or so. And here are some chests. And seeing that one chest probably means all the other ones are here. There's chest number two, and hey, key number one. Chest number three. No key, no problem. Number four. Oh, no key. Not a big issue. I suppose the faster the amount you have, the quicker you can do this. Hey, there's key number two. I already lost it. I already forgot the chest number count. Oh, no key there. And no key there. So two, two key fragments. I guess you get a crystal fragment no matter what. So that was chest seven. So yeah, there's seven chests so far. And I don't believe there's an eighth. So that's seven chests. And I was just minimized watching a YouTube video, you know, not really focused uh, in on the game. Because you just mi need to minimize, you don't need to do anything. And as far as I know, there's only seven chests. Because uh, those are the only locations I found a chest. And so, yeah, I'm going to go back to the beginning, hit the reset timer, and, you know, Ooh, no stamina. again, come back and check on until I see another chest. And see how long it usually takes. You know, just so you guys know exactly how long you have to be sitting here idly. Like, oh, you only need to watch a 10-minute YouTube video, etc. So let's just refresh that. And... Uh, oh, I can't really separate that. Oh, I could, actually. Full power! There we go. So we get a nice, fresh inventory. Uh, or not really inventory, but just a chat box to show what's there. You know, I'll even make this more darker. There we go. And minimize. Refresh. Minimize. Okay. 
about 15 minutes in. That's one rested key. <laughs> I ranked up to Prestige 7 apparently doing this. How much experience is this giving actually? That's the third chest with only one rested key found so far. Fourth. Uh, fourth chest with the second rest of key. Also, wow, I just realized the amount of experience this gives you. This is not bad in terms of experience for just doing nothing. I'm literally just running around just opening chests. If only there was like an eighth chest somewhere. Maybe there is. I'm just going to look at my mesos right now. Not too much mesos, but there it is, another key. It's three keys so far. Yep, three keys. Nope, four keys. And also treasure hunter. Huh. I gotta die from it, opening chests. Okay. Oh, look at that, a, a die voucher fragment as well. It's not too shabby. So that was one, two, three, four keys out of the seven chests. A couple of crystal fragments as per usual. And I got myself a prestige box because I ranked up the prestige from getting seven guaranteed crystal fragments to about two to four rested keys. Nearly nine to ten percent of your prestige experience. Fragments for your gear, your... Uh, you know, your face, color, anything. You can get all this and more from just sitting here, opening chests, gaining yourself the treasure hunter trophy tiers and everything. And it's not a bad place to idle. Every 16 to 18 minutes, you come back. Maybe that's just basically one YouTube video for you. Come here, watch a YouTube video, come back, you know, open up some chests, repeat. And for the people who needed the Andy machine, uh, for that trophy, for the attribute point, there you go. Also, let me just spend that attribute point right here. Why do I have three? Oh, because I prestiged. And because I prestiged, I... Did I get the, uh, attribute points from it? Oh, I did. Okay, so there's one plus the two from prestiging. Oh, yeah, I can't do that in this area. Ah, whatever. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like if you like the video. You don't need to like the video, but I mean... Because you can shove a like right there if you do. Uh, comment. I do reply to many comments. And subscribe if you haven't already. Because I upload some random stuff that could be useful to you. Who knows? No, I don't have to be a thief. I just like it. Yeah, I do like playing thief. Even though it's squishy. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. And I'm going to start looting some chests. Stamina.